Behold, Hermitcraft fans, King Ren the King hath doth returneth one last time to reign over the Hermits in Season 9. Uh, actually, no, that's not correct. Uh, he's just come back as a plushie. Your king spent many weeks in his vault forging this plushie for you and worked really hard with Makeship to ensure that we included lots of awesome tiny details from the king's skin, like the king's tiny crown, his diamond glasses, his diamond encrusted royal coat with the H on the back, and even the Gigabug drone unit on his kingly belt buckle. Get yourself a piece of Hermitcraft Season 9 history today while also supporting me directly with this purchase. But don't dilly-dally too long, friendos, as this royal of most royal plushies will only be available for the next 21 days or so, and then it will never be available again. So if you want it, get it as soon as possible. Anyway, I thank thee for your support on this campaign, everyone. And now your king must returneth to the spirit realm. Uh, be gone, you fools, I must ponder. Uh, I, I said I, I must ponder. Ah! Greetings, everyone. This is Rendog coming at you in another Minecraft episode from the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from the absolutely hideous foundations of Scabland, where, as you can see, for the past week or so, I have been working very hard to create potentially one of the ugliest things that I have ever created in my entire career as a professional YouTuber. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. I mean, there's a part of me that's proud to have created probably the most ugly platform that I've ever built in Minecraft. And uh, for those of you guys who have ever tried to make things ugly in Minecraft, it's actually quite difficult, especially if you are used to making things awesome. Um, and this has been quite the challenge to start working here on the ugly foundations of Scabland. And of course, if you are new to the Scabland project, basically what I'm trying to do here is create a mini game district for the Hermitcraft Season 9 server. But I wanted the district to have a bit of a twist, and I thought what we would do is an exact opposite to Scarland. So where Scarland is amazing, Scabland is going to be absolutely disgusting. Where Scarland is a beautiful, incredible Minecraft art, Scabland is going to be this. Um, and yeah, I have been very hard at work this week, as you can see, starting to move the foundations that we laid in the previous episode down to the ground level. I've done quite a bit of it, and we're going to be cracking on with some more of it today. Uh, but I did want to show you some more of the very annoying designs that I have added here to Scabland. Let's start all the way over this side. Uh, I finished getting rid of all of these forests and stuff that were here last night. And I had a really sneaky and dastardly idea. Right, Scar is an incredible terraformer, as we all know, right? And of course, the lands around Scarland are so beautifully terraformed that it almost makes the eyes water when you go over there. Here at Scabland, we're going to do the exact opposite. And I am going to create a couple of platforms over here that look like they have been literally world edited into the world. <laughs> right? It's almost as if this just got copied and pasted into the side of a mountain. And that is the exact opposite of terraforming. And uh, I think that is pretty awesome. This road is also just digging into the side of the mountain here. And uh, this is, of course, something that Scar would never, ever do. So kind of fits our remit of making the exact opposite to Scarland quite nicely. Uh, also, by the way, there is going to be a very annoying thing over here that I figured out last night. Some of you may have already spotted it uh, from the beginning of this episode. But every single other platform here at Scarland. Uh, and by the way, these platforms, this is where I'm going to invite Hermits to build mini games. Uh, they're going to come out here and build some mini games on this, these platforms. So that's hence why this is going to be a mini game district. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like I've also failed to describe Scabland very well, which is actually also perfect because Scar is exceptionally good at explaining and describing what's going on at Scarland. And I feel that over the last couple of videos, I've literally been unable to use my mouth words to describe what I'm doing out here. Because, I mean, my brain is also struggling to understand it, if I'm completely honest. But anyway, take a look at this. All of the mini game platforms are on this level over here, which is at Y64. 
except for one single platform, which is going to be this one. And this one's going to be at Y67. Um, for no other reason but to break symmetry and really hurt some brains out there. Um, also, as you may have noticed, this road is a couple of blocks higher than the main road which runs down here, which means that anyone who comes to Scab Land and is walking down the main road, they're not going to be able to actually get up onto this road. There's not going to be any stairs or any blocks to climb up. You will literally not be able to go up this road which I think is a dastardly and very scabby thing to do. And I'm all about it. It's um, absolutely glorious. Now, you may be wondering where I came up with all of these hideous blocks uh, to work on these very, well, painful-looking platforms. Turns out that over at the boat race, um, wh way back at the beginning of the Blue River Raceway project, I set up a little factory of villagers to create the courts and the terracotta that Etho and I needed to to complete the uh, the track borders. And over the course of the last few months, I've just been collecting a bunch of the other blocks that those stonemasons make, mostly to keep the prices of the courts at one and to reset their trades. And I just collected like an insane amount of this terracotta and all of these really ugly blocks that literally do not go together in any shape, way or form in any pattern whatsoever. And I just shipped them all over here to the Scabland Foundations and I have just been placing them in sort of random orders, just filling up my hotbar with the blocks and just scrolling through them and placing them down to create these mosaics of pure and utter brain pain. Um, and I, I have to tell you, friends, I have been torturing myself with this project. I know that some of you out there are probably struggling with this intense amount of hideousness. Uh, you're not alone. I'm the one that has to place the blocks, okay? So can we please pour one out for the Ren Diggity Dog, who has already spent uh, about an hour or so literally doing this uh, while listening to podcasts and listening to other Hermit videos. Um, yeah, this has been my life for the last uh, couple of days. And i got to tell you, I'm not proud. I'm, I'm not proud of what I've done, friends. Uh, this is um, kind of goes against my ethos as a Minecraft player that likes to make cool stuff. Uh, but I've dug my hole, I am deep in the scab, and I shall now pick myself out of the scab by trying to make this project actually awesome. Um, that is my current goal in life, and I hope that you guys are going to come along with me. If, if you're coming along with me for the scab ride, please let me know in the comments so that I, I you know, I, I know that I've got some allies out there. Who's a scab? <laughs> Who's a scab? Oh man, just, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. My brain's a scab at this point. Um, anyway, I do have quite a lot of things uh, to do out here today, guys. Starting with the flattening and preparation of the final platform over here. You can see that I still need to do this one. I've just recently moved over some bacons. We had our bacons over at the race course. And uh, we now have some delicious haste out here. Which means we can pretty much blast our way through... Uh, these last little bits of land here to flatten this platform and then mosaic the living heck out of it. Uh, the unfortunate news is that I don't think I actually have enough of the mosaic, the ugly mosaic blocks available. So I am going to have to go back and forth to the race course to farm a few more blocks while I do this. However, I do have some good news. We are currently in phase two of Decked Out, of course, and... Um, I have a, had a pretty decent go. I've spent, I think, five shards already of my 13 shards for Phase 2 and put together a couple of really exciting and interesting runs. And uh, thanks to everybody who really enjoyed the decked out run that I did in the previous episode. Glad you guys enjoyed that. That was super awesome. And I thought what we'd do in this episode is I'd throw some decked out for you guys. While I do all of this, we're going to go and watch uh, five decked out runs and if Decked Out isn't your thing and you want to skip past that, I will make this video into chapters and you can just use the chapters to uh, to skip through the Decked Out runs if you want to. And when we come back, hopefully I would have done uh, a little bit more progress out here. And then we need to start working on getting rid of all of these top layer foundations, which we did in the last episode. We need to shift all of that down. And if we are lucky today, we might even be uh, able to fill in the roads, although I'm not entirely sure if we'll get to that. But we're going to do our best out here at Scabland to make some serious progress. 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 The mouth hole and the brain disconnected this morning, it seems, my friends. Morning? It's not even morning. It's like late afternoon. Oh, jeez. You know what, dudes? 
these stupid ugly mosaics. Scabland is scabbing my brain, and uh, I'm gonna just do some digging now to sort of get my brain realigned. I'm gonna send you over to uh, the, the Frozen Citadel for some amazing and awesome decked out runs that I managed to complete a couple of days ago. And uh, we'll be doing the rest of those on stream. So make sure that you're following us on Twitch for all of the decked out awesomeness of things. Right, I'm gonna dig, you're gonna go to decked out. We'll catch up again in, a, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. It's the next day in real life, my friends, and here we are in the Frozen Citadel, chilling out in our decked out 2 Gigacorp room. It's time to do a couple of dungeon runs this morning while the server is relatively quiet. And um, of course, we are now in phase two of Decked Out and we have received a lovely gift of 13 shards from Tango, uh, the dungeon master. And we still have five crowns that we managed to acquire from phase one, which is fantastic. Today, though, I would like to focus on increasing the number of cards in my deck. And I would like to try and do a little bit better in Phase 2 than I did in Phase 1. Our Phase 1 started off pretty good, and I managed to pick up an additional, what what is it, three cards? Uh, but my final, like, six or seven runs that I did on stream in Phase 1, uh, well, they were a disaster, everybody. I must tell you, they went extremely badly. I just, I don't know what happened. My brain melted on stream. And I basically got wrecked in every single run that I did. I think I basically burned six shards and got nothing out of it. So not great. I was very nervous on stream, though. There were a lot of people watching and I think I was freaking out a little bit, which was kind of silly. Um, but I'm going to try and make up for that today. In phase two, we're going to try and uh, get back uh, into the swing of things. See if we can get ourselves a few more bits and bobs. I do see Pearl over here, though. Shall we say hello really quickly? Let's have a look. Pearl, hello. 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 Hold on, let's give her a smack. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi? No, hi. Okay. I go, I go dungeon. Bye. <laughs> All right, Pearl's probably recording or something. <laughs> No worries. It was mildly awkward, but it's all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Queen of awkwardness. Okay, I see. <laughs> all good. Um, right. Nothing available in the shops here, friends. And what is this? Very extremely illegal and poorly thought saturation station. That's kind of clever, actually. Um, I don't have any diamonds to spend right now, but maybe we'll use the saturation station at some other point. I think we're going to kick things off in phase two with some easy runs, just to try and get ourselves a couple of extra cards. Also, just to get myself over the very embarrassing final phase one runs that I did. I just got absolutely wrecked at the end of phase one. It was awful. And I would like to get a couple wins under the belt, and uh, that should help with my mindset. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to... Uh, redeem ourselves a little bit. Let's drop off this. Our deck is ready to rumble. Let's turn running off so that we're walking to maximize saturation. Deck goes in. And minecart is... No minecart. Oh, there's the minecart. Okay. Um. Oh, it looks like I selected le level two. Medium. Medium. Okay. Well, I, I've derped already. You know what's funny? The final run that I did of phase one, I forgot to change the difficulty. It was set to difficulty three. And I ha haven't even been down to that part of the dungeon yet, so I literally got absolutely wrecked. So I guess we're going to start today's runs off with another derp. We are not starting on easy as initially planned. We're going to start on medium, which is okay. Let's have a look. There is... Okay, so um, the artifact's going to be on level one. So actually choosing uh, that difficulty level isn't the end of the world. Um, so let's get into it, guys. Our very first decked out run for the day. And it looks like the compass is pointing toward the frozen forest section of level one. And... Um, I have kind of mapped out level 1 now in my mind, so level 1 is kind of remembered, which is great. Uh, there was a Ravager over there. Let's just remember that there is a Shrieker going off there. And it looks like this artifact might be pointing to Crypts. It feels like it. Let's start sprinting here so we can get some proper jumping going. And yeah, this is looking like a Crypts run, which is great. And uh, there are the sounds going Sneak. off. 
and it looks like we might be going around the corner here. Excellent. Okay, so hoping to get a little bit of treasures that's been blocked, as it has blocked that, um, which you hate to see. So I guess we have to go around, which I believe is up and over. Or at least I think you can go up and over, is that correct? Oh no, you can go through here. Alright, let's get through here before the hazard stops us. And I've just heard a Ravager making noises. And is it somewhere here? Oh, there's a Ravager. There's a Ravager. There is a Ravager. Oh, and we got absolutely wrecked by Captain Sneedlepants. What a great start to the day. Lovely. Well, not the greatest start to the day, but we do have 12 frozen shards to get through in phase two, so I'm not too worried. Uh, look, I've just woken up. I've just finished my cup of coffee, so the brain hasn't really uh, kicked in just yet. Um, <laughs> looks like Pearl is trying to get a mystery box over here, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do maybe like three or four runs today, so let's see if we can do any better. Dungeon is resetting, new frozen shard ready to go. And I'm going to try concentrate a little bit harder in the next run, everybody. We're, we're going to do this, okay? We're, we're going to do this. And back into the dungeons we go. For our second run of the day. And I am going to try and channel some Blue Bats MCC9 winner energy. Let's see if we can actually uh, not fail this time around. Now, compass pointing hard left. Um, which is telling me that it is probably in the crypts or near there anyway. Same place we were last time, basically. And um, I know how to get there relatively easily. So there is a Ravager right there. Yep, he's still there from the last time. And uh, we do need to remember where the other one was, which was fairly close here. Just do a little hop across the river without derping. There we go. And, well, this is where the he was last time, which I think is exactly where this is pointing to. In fact, I believe the Ravager might be in this room, if I can recall correctly. I'm going to try and be a little bit more aware of the Ravagers. Sneak. There is the Ravager indeed. Um, I'm not sure if I can get around him without him seeing me. I might have to lure him into this tunnel. Let's wrangle him this way. Wrangle him this way. Break eye, uh, line of sight. Perfect. That's taken us nicely around him. And I think, I think it's actually in here. I think it's in here, isn't it? Um, is it here? Yes, there it is. Oh, brilliant. Okay, fantastic. So we've got the artifact. I think we can spend a little bit of time trying to get some treasure. Would love to get enough crowns to, or enough coins to get a single crown. Uh, we, we, there was a click. I still haven't memorized exactly where the, um, the treasures go, but I do want to come get some berries here, I think, so that we can build up our sustain a little bit and try find some treasure. I know there's a spot for treasure over here. And I know that there's always a bunch of treasure in the crypt area, or in the main crypt zone. Don't know where the Ravagers are right now, though. There is a Ravager. Okay, well, there is one Ravager. I'm thinking maybe we just get out, if possible, here. To try and make sure that we don't mess this up. And, oh, that, I, for a second there, I thought that I would mess that up. Um, the clank is sounding okay right now. I think there's a Ravager up there, unfortunately, uh, and he's also tracking us. Let's break that eye of that line of sight there. You know what? I'm thinking there's a Ravager right. There's oh my goodness! There's a couple of them here. Oh geez. Okay, hold on. We can scoot around the side here. I think. Let's just get out, guys. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get out of the dungeon. Sneak. And just be happy with our artifact. It's going to give us ten. It looks like it. Okay, good. Good. I'm happy with that. Listen, I, I know it's not the greatest run of all time, but that is going to be a card for the deck. And that is what I desperately need. A ca every card we add to the deck improves our, our runs um, in the future. So I am pleased. I think that's fantastic. I'm very happy about that. That breaks my losing streak of seven dead dungeons in a row. Okay, feeling good. Feeling good. That was awesome.
Nice, frozen shards delivered times 10, which means we can get a frost embers or, um, oh, sorry, not a frost embers. We can get an ember seeker or um, a stability. Yeah, or a treasure hunter. Interesting. I think we're going to go with a with an ember seeker for now and start increasing our our ember seeker intake. Um, I think that's going to make a lot of sense actually. So beautiful. There we go. Ember seeker in the belly. And yeah, first victorious run of the day. Very, very nice. I am pleased. All right, run three, everybody. And once again, the compass is pointing toward the crypt area. I want to try something different in this run because I, I noticed something as we left the dungeon in the previous run. There is, uh, yes, there's a berry bush over here, which is a nice source of berries early on in the, the run. Plus, we know that the ravagers were very close here. There's one of them. And there was, there's another one in there, and I think we're going to die right away. Oh, I managed to actually get out of that. Oh my goodness, how? That, that is just insanity. I, okay, that, that was good. All right, we need to wrangle this one. Get him back, and we'll break line of sight here. And we're going to have to go around the corner, I think, now. Sneak. Which is bad news for us, I'm afraid, because I think there might be another Ravager in the frozen circle section. Yeah, there he is. Okay, we're going to have to wrangle him to... Um, come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. This way. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that, that didn't that didn't go that didn't go to plan. No, the... Uh, yeah, uh, dead. All right, run number four. We'll do two more runs today. So this run and one afterwards, and then we'll call it a day. Don't want to burn all my shards in one day. But um, yeah, so far we are one win and three losses, which isn't great. Um, we got two more runs though. So let's see what we can do. All right, gonna do my best to concentrate for this one. Unfortunately, we know that there's a couple of Ravagers pretty close to the entrance now uh, as they chased us here in the last run. Gonna try go back to where the berry bush is, see if we can yoink a free berry. There, of course, is one of the Ravagers. We have to break the line of sight from that one, which I think we have done. And I think there is another one really close by here too. Uh, oh, it was in there. We can sneak past that one. And, oh, there's another one in there, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that one's trapped in the corridor, which is great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those opening corridors are looking kind of scary right now. But looks like we've managed to get past the initial ravages fairly nicely. Looks like this one might be in crypts. Um, or at least there's a ravager up there. Uh, is it upstairs or downstairs? Ho hold on. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Sorry, that was a Windows update thing. Um, okay, it might be down here. Right, no Ravager behind us. And looking decent. Now, I know we can get some treasure in here, so keeping my eyes open. And, ooh, I think it might be here. There, there, perfect. Okay, there is a Shrieker in here that is tr that we're triggering over and over again. Which isn't great. Look at the shades of the dog. Shades of the dog! Those are all shades! Oh, that's amazing! That's got to be a good omen, right? Let's pick up some berries while we're here too. And, um, yeah, looks like there is definitely a Shrieker here, so we're just going to be shifting through. Want to start getting some of those embers now, uh, now that we got the frozen ember card. And I'm going to try leave this dungeon, not just with the card. How many points is this? This is nine. Uh, that is not going to get us another Frozen Ember card or uh, Ember Seeker. So, we do need to spend a little bit more time hunting for loot. No Ravagers in the immediate vicinity, though. Not that I can spot anyway, uh, which is great. Now, how do we get out of here? Is there only one way in and out? There was some... There, there. There's a coin. And there's a coin, too. Okay, let's get this coin. And there is a Shrieker over here, I believe, so... Let's just sneak past this section. There's the Ember Seeker going off, so that's great. Also, heartbeat is still pretty low, so Clank is at, an, at a, a very low rate right now, which is fantastic. 
and I guess we will try. We know that there's a Ravager reasonably close by there. And uh, we've got loads and loads of berries right now, which is great. Just trying to find those embers now. Um, and I'm not seeing any anywhere nearby. There is Treasure Hunter, though. And I don't know, it's really difficult. I don't know where the treasures drop and stuff. I know that there are some treasures in, like, that big crypt room. I just can't quite... Uh, there's, there is a Ravager stopping that also. And he's going to be right here. Okay, we can wrangle him here, I think. Um, and maybe we can go around this side. I think this is blocked, though. No, this isn't blocked. Okay. Um, right, let's get him on this side. Stability. And see if we can go around. Um, hold on. I think I'm going to try wrangle him all the way around here. Yep, all the way around here. And I don't know. Did that, did that close this off for, for us now? No. But looks like we can actually sneak through here. Yes. I think this is the room where you get a bunch of treasures along the sides of the walls. There's usually some treasure here, but it doesn't look like there is any today. Uh, there is some coins. That gives us a crown. Okay, so we didn't get the frozen embers that we wanted. But I'm pretty happy with a crown, I think. Though we might still stumble across some more treasure as we go. There is a key down to level 2 plus more coins. That's two crowns now. And I'm starting to feel like we shouldn't be too greedy here. We should be happy with our two crowns and maybe another sneak card. Um, if we can get ourselves out of the dungeon. The clank is still pretty low though. So I'm, I'm okay with trying to find... We just need one frozen ember to be able to get ourselves another ember seeker card. So, you know, I don't mind having a quick look. Oh, there is a Ravager right there, though. That is our way out, too, uh, which isn't great. Although I think we can, we might be able to go around here, sneak around the side of the Ravager. Yes, okay, that has worked. Oh, there's a Ravager right there, though. Okay, there's two of them now on our tail, which you hate to see. We'll go back into Frozen Forest, see if there's any embers that have been dropped here. Hello, hello, stress. Unfortunately, currently in the middle of a very stressful situation. Um, let's go across here, see if there's any embers that have dropped over there. No. Um, our clank is still very low, which is fantastic. I think we're going to need a bit of time to wrangle some of the... Um, oh my goodness, how many coins is this? There's more coins there. That's 15 coins. 16 coins gives us four crowns. Um which I think is good. I don't know what we can spend them on, though. Um, but I'm going to keep on trying. Here we go. That is our 16 coins. That is four crowns. And I really would love to get um, another Ember Seeker, if we can. Just one more frozen Ember would just be absolutely wonderful. Um, that could give us a tome also, actually, if we get another frozen ember. There is a rapture that scared the living heck out of me. Okay, I think that is telling me that it is time to skedaddle out of here um, before things get a little bit too serious. Um, yeah, the Ravager is up there. The, cr the clank is starting to kick in a little bit. I think, everybody, it is time for us to leave. Um, and I think what we can maybe do is have one more look over here. At these spots, there is a Ravager there, though. So there's Ravager there, too. Okay, let's go Frozen Circle. Um, there's a key. We can go around the back of Frozen Circle. I'm shaking. I'm so nervous right now, guys. Oh, my goodness. So many coins. This is going to get us... No, this doesn't get us out. I think there might be a Ravager close by, though. Uh, no, no, we're good, we're good. We're good, I think this is the exit. Oh, I can't, I can't find the exit because things have stopped. There's a Ravager right there. Oh, I think the exit's here. I'm starting to shake. My, my hands are shaking. Okay, hold on, here we go. This is the most, the most coins I've ever gotten out with. Yes! Oh, yes, 19 coins and an artifact. Amazing. Oh, absolutely amazing. There we go, Shades of the Dog, we did it. Hi! was in the dungeons, Soz. Yes! Oh, we did it! That's fantastic! 19 coins and 5 
keys? Not a... S Where were the frozen embers? Um, weird. Even though we've got three ember seeker cards, we didn't see any frozen embers, which is very, very strange. Anyway, nine frozen embers. I mean, we take it, right? That gets us a treasure hunter. Um, we have to spend these, of course. So I'm thinking, yeah, we just go treasure hunter. That'll be our second treasure hunter card, uh, which is just fantastic. And that is going to give us a total of four. Uh, just one shy of five crowns. That's going to give us four crowns, which is just amazing. And uh, we'll put the coins in here to redeem the crowns. And what a fantastic fourth run, guys. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Four crowns and a treasure hunter. What a magnificent run that was. That felt so good. And that was so fun. Oh my goodness. Decked out is just the best. Uh, what an incredible game tank. I'm going to hit the button and uh, exit the dungeon and be very happy. The fifth and final run for this episode, guys. Our deck now including a extra treasure card and frozen ember card. Feeling pretty good about this. Compass has been acquired, pointing hard left, which is interesting. And I'm going to try go get a free berry, of course, because I think that's a great strategy. If you can, yeah, that Ravager is very close, but we broke the line of sight quite quickly. Free Berry is over here. Very nice. We'll start with that. And let's go round the back because there weren't very many Ravagers around the back there. And it looks like we're okay for Ravagers. There's sometimes there's a Ravager there. There's two Ravagers there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can we sneak around that way? Yes, we can. Okay, nice. We'll go around this way. Think that broke their line. Okay, it's right here, but it's fine. We should be okay. There we go. I don't even know if it's tracking us right now. It is, but we are through safe and sound. And it looks like we might be heading towards this section. Okay, there's a Ravager right there. I saw his little face. And Ember Seeker has been triggered. Let's keep our eyes open for any spare embers. And hold on. There was a flip of the compass right here somewhere are we i think it might be here you know or like close by here is it here Stability. um okay i think we can go down here and Sneak. it might be up here yes let's just check this area for any any prizes. Nothing down here. We are picking up some berries along the way, though, so that's great. I think I know the location, one of the locations where the artifact might be uh, up here, because I had to do this one before, and that is a Ravager, unfortunately for us. Um, we'll have to come down. We do want to wrangle him, though. Okay, so let's leave him here. Then we can dodge around like this. That would have dodged him quite nicely. Okay, so it might be up there. So up we go. There's a Ravager over there. Come on, bud. Let's wrangle him this way. Come on, buddy. This way. Oh, wow. He's really fast, actually. Okay, that's fine. Now we can scoot around here. Give him a good old dodge. camping us now. I feel like... Okay, hold on. We have to wrangle him a bit more. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. This way. This way. Around the corner. Embers. Embers. Okay, we'll break the line of sight around here. Perfect. Perfect. And I think it might be... There it is! Perfect! That is 12! 12 frozen embers for that artifact. Amazing. Okay, fantastic. That was some excellent wrangling also. Very happy with that. Also, we're not even looking at the map right now. Clank is at an all-time low, so I think I would like to spend a bit more time gathering coins and embers. Let's head to Throne Room. And start making use of our treasure hunter and frozen ember cards or ember seeker cards. 
there is another frozen ember over here. Oh, that is fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. And trying to remember where some of the treasure pops up. There's a spot here that it pops up, I remember. And there's also a free berry here. So let's pick up some berries. Now we know that there's ravages inside of the frozen um, tunnel area. So I don't want to go back there for now. I think I want to stick to the crypts. Because I kind of know where the ravages are. And I know that there's a ton of ravages in and around the frozen um, passageway sections that we don't want to get to. That was a shrieker cranking up the clank. And that's okay. Let's go and have a look for any more coins. No coins in this run. We got all the coins in the last run, it looks like it. That's the sound of a zombie. Okay, I know that there was usually some treasure over there. Right, there's Ravager right there, and that's no good. That kind of blocks off that section of the dungeon for us. Um, maybe we can come around here. Yeah, there's, there's a Ravager over there. Okay, that's not good. That's kind of blocking our exit a bit. That is blocking our exit. We're gonna have to... That's bad. That is bad. That's bad. That's bad. We're dead. No! Ugh. Ugh. I, I, it was the jump. It was the jump that got me. I messed up the jump. Oh, you hate to see it. You really hate to see it. That was such a great run too. Oh, man. Well, you can't win them all, everybody. Listen, we got two cards. We got two, what, four crowns? Three crowns, four crowns. And um, I would say a very successful day in the dungeons. Very unfortunate about that last loss there. Um, that is, yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> so close. Oh, I should have just got out. I should have just got out nice and safe inside. I was trying to, though. Like, I had to lure the that, that Ravager out of that tunnel so that I could get around it. But I messed the jump up because professional Minecrafter. Um, but yeah, super happy with those runs. I think we did wonderfully well and I'm gonna go and take a walk outside because I need some fresh air after all of that. Decked out is stressful everybody. It's super stressful. <laughs> Behold my fellow scabbies the absolute hideousness that is the scab land foundations. <laughs> oh my goodness what have I done? This is quite something. And also, uh, my brain literally sees this mosaic whenever I close my eyes. Guys, I have spent this entire week right-clicking and scrolling up and right-clicking again over and over and over and over to complete the platforms for Scabland. These are the platforms on which hermits will come and build their mini-games here at the Scabland theme park. And I do have some good news. There is some scaffoldage that has popped up over there on the far back uh, plot area. And that's because last night while I was working on the scabification of this area, Cub Fan came over and said, Yo, uh, Mr. Scab Dog, could I have a plot to build a mini game? And I said, Cub, as long as you do, uh, as long as you claim a plot in the worst way possible, you can have a plot. And Cub literally came over here and built a, a pillar of scaffolding. I mean, it doesn't get much jankier than that, to be fair. So, Cub gets a plot in Scabland. He is successfully scabificated. And so, uh, Cub's <laughs> gonna come and build a minigame here in uh, Scabland. Fantastic! Hopefully, we can get a few more hermits interested in coming out here to build some mini games. because seriously, um, I didn't make these platforms some for nothing. And I haven't melted my brain for no reason. When I close my eyes, this is what I see, everybody. I, th this, is, this is my brain right now. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get great content out of this because I spent most of the time just right-clicking these blocks into these platforms. However, over the course of this week, some exciting things happened. As you saw, uh, we did pretty well over at Decked Out. By the way, I've got a bonus run for, the, for you guys at the end of this episode. For those of you guys who have made it all the way here, you get a bonus Decked Out run in the end of the episode. My pleasure. But also, as you can see from what's on the screen right now, I did come together with some of the hermits this week to help Dark Out. Doc, of course, needed a bunch of sandstone for the walls of the perimeter. And a whole bunch of us hermits, while we were waiting for Decked Out to be 
serviced by Tango. We went out to a desert and we literally flattened it. And we got Doc an obscene amount of sandstone and it was super fun uh, to grind that desert to the ground. And I made a pretty cool replay mod out of it. So you should be seeing that right now if I've done the editing correctly. So yes, I haven't been entirely occupied by Scabland this week. I've been doing other things to keep my sanity in place. But the good news is for this episode, the platforms have been successfully created. All of that uh, scaffolding above the tree line is now gone. And um, we are pretty much ready to start ready building up the Scab land and start working on Scab Castle too, which I think we'll start in the next episode. And uh, I am very, very happy with the absolute mess that we've made out here. It is gloriously disgusting. And uh, I'm even happy with our terraforming. I think the terraforming is absolutely wonderful. Dudes, I've lost my mind. I think it's about time we sign off for today. Um, that's going to do it for this episode, I think. I need to take a bit of a break from uh, this particular um, mosaic because it is burnt into my retina right now. And I don't want to look at it anymore. So I'm going to go edit the video, get it out to you guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to head over to one more bonus run from Decked Out. Happened last night on live stream. And it was a really great run. You guys get to see it here on YouTube also. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. If you are enjoying the Scabland uh, project, please do let me know in the comment section. Hit that like it, like it, like button. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, you know what I've just realized? This, these platforms actually look a bit like a scab from a distance, right? Like you can see the red blood that you see in a scab and then like the white pus that you see in a scab also. Uh, I've somehow made these things actually look like a scab, which, you know, is annoying because I'm, I don't want there to be any rhyme or reason to this project. It's supposed to be ugly. Oh, I hate my life. <sighs> anyway, we'll see you again very soon, my fellow scabbies from all over the world and get ready to do some serious scab picking over the next few months. Oh, God, absolutely disgusting. Rain dog out. Did you get that out of the shop? The yeah. dungeon is um, that was from a, a, mystical, next a mystical victim. booster. A mystical box. Oh. You're up, friend. But I've changed my mind. I'm not going to burn it this run. Because I'm streaming Your time and has come. stream brain equals death. And I'm just going to lose the card. Yes, it does. This is true. All right. We're not going to use the card, guys. Card back. No, 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 no please, I did not. Please, Who's please, next? Please. It's me. It's Ren. It's me. Let's go, Ren Diggity. Okay. Come this. on, Ren. Thank it's you. time. It's Thank time. Thank it's you. the time Ren. of your life. Ren. This Q system is a joke, FYI. <laughs> Why is it a joke? <laughs> well, it, it's all out of order. No, it's right, not. Dude, Ren has been trying to get us to upgrade this thing for days. It. You did, didn't you? You did. Yeah, I just right. There we go, everybody. There we go. Good Ren, luck, Ren. Going in, and then it's me, and then it's you. Thank you. Okay, that makes sense. So you already hit it for hit. Yeah, it's actually perfect. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, guys. Last oh, one of the night. Oh! <laughs> you dropped right down on Ren. <laughs> you fell on his head? You scared the <laughs> living hell out of me, dude. <laughs> I didn't know where the hole went. Sometimes Good you just luck, get Ren. in. You don't Thank know where you're going to go. Thank you. All right, we'll... We begin oh, with the people. Oh, quick, people are trying sure. to spoil Ahsoka for me. Damn. Have you not I've seen not an seen episode Ahsoka. yet? Uh, I've not seen I haven't it. seen. I haven't seen anything yet. No. No spoilers, chats. No spoilers, chats. Come on, come on, Hornshire. I gotta say, go. my. Let me tell you this. My <laughs> excitement level for the for the television show Ahsoka, mm -hmm. on a scale, I'm we'll leave them to talk I about Ahsoka. And we will go. <gasps> Wow, I oh, need wow. to check the Five difficulty first. I need to remember. I'm such an idiot. That's my we side wasted side. a shard in the last stream right there. where I went after Hypno and he'd set it apart. No, I mean, and I just ran in, plugged in my deck, and then had to go down to hard mode. And died. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to minimize you guys. Sorry. 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 All right, here we go. Oh, that is that is very unlucky. Uh, right, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sheesh! Right at the entrance, and there was shriek right there. Wow! No good. Pick up our hunter. Let's come to frozen circle. 
going around the back of Frozen Circle. There is a rummage there. Let's lure him this way. We'll break line of sight here. Come through here. I feel like there's a lot of shrieking going on. Right, this is where we got the crash last time. I want to go down. Verticality. There's a key. We don't care about the key, but we'll pick it up anyway. Let's pick up some berries. Another key. There is some twisting and turning going on here. Treasure Hunter. Wait, there's. You can't really go further here, right? I know this part of the dungeon well enough. Hold on. There's a Ravager right there. It's this bit again. here now. Okay, this is, this is annoying. Okay, there we go. Found it. I think I found it. Oh, okay. I'm starting to panic now. We can't get through here, can we? Okay, did it. Nailed it. Loads of keys. I'd love to find some more embers or coins. Stability. seeing much, are we? Got stuck in that stupid crevasse for too long. Okay, there's, there is a Ravager. Let's get him around here. There's a coin. There's a coin. One more coin and we get a crown. Sneak. There's, there's our crown. Is that a crown? No. There, there. Five, six. That's Ravager. I feel like I'm getting greedy now. Sim. 
even. Okay, that's quite a lot of thumping going on. I think I think it's time to get out of here, right? Okay. Let's not push it. Let's not push our luck. Let's not push our luck. Let's get out! Oh my goodness! He's right there! Oh! Oh my goodness! The Ravager was right at the exit! Insane! 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 Shades of the dog, we did it! This is Treasure Hunter here, right? Yeah, let's pick up a let's pick up a treasure hunter card. Perfect. Perfect! Oh my goodness, that was so insane! was absolutely insane. Wow. Nice! We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yes! <laughs> Whoop! No! Right, let's go pick up pick of shame our way into the thing. I got the pick uh, of shame. The pick of sh oh, he's here! Hey, we already me. opened the door for you. We didn't take nothing. Don't worry about it. Me? Yep, fine. In you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Thank you, guys. I thank mean, you. When, when Ren gets out there. Uh, okay, that was um, the rabbit.